Yay. And we're alive. It looks as though many travelers have used this campsite to pass the night over the years. Drinking a whole right. bunch of daily roll potions to help me along. Don't drink too many. Then he'll be out. <laughs> oh no, these are like physical resistance, magical resistance, oh, yeah. and uh, um, ranged power. You need jump. We, I'll take it, but we don't really need it for this quest. Anyway, right. I wasn't sure if you do a little jump shooting. Um. So yeah, we're. It's just Jan and I right now, and I'm doing this on four skulls. Uh, we are very scared. Yeah, giving Kaz a little chance if uh, if he's out there to to get in before we finish. Um, do you want to hang back, Jan, a little bit and shoot from afar, and then I'll try to help you out if um, need yeah, be. Yeah, but remember, these guys like to spawn at the edge, so I'll hide up on yeah. the tent here. Several Sahuagin Focusing down the mark of law. Thank you. Yeah, he's the one that's going to hurt. Uh, let's see. So, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's a low. Come on, everybody. Oh, you know what? That might help me a little bit. <laughs> oh, web, yeah. I didn't even think of that. An exhausted smuggler nice. Beckons you over to talk. The smuggler explains. Oh, that, your potions are healing pretty good. They're not meta. The closest one. Um, no. I don't have okay. any meta magics at the moment. Uh, most of my feats right now are going to ranged feats. Oh no, they're dead. Ah, yes. I do have the uh, power over life and death uh, as my uh, passive, past life, active, past life stance. It's Kaz. I see he hopped oh. in Discord. Oh sweet. Ah okay. All right, let's just be careful here, Jan. I'm gonna stay back on this bridge. Better put a stop to that. The first try collapses beneath your blow. Kaz. Running in from the fall. Sorry about that. Wasn't expecting lunch to. Uh, ah, you're good. Take that long to get. We just stepped in on R4 to, in hopes to give you a chance to catch up to us. <laughs> so, kind of good move. Maybe not the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's run him over here if you can, Jan. Watch out, you got a current. Olus wasn't screwing yeah. around. He oh, hurt. Man, my spells are kind of going wonky. Um, stay away from this next fight so I can heal you up after. Oh man, I don't have it meta now. Get that one. Problem is these clownfish, um, they appear on the outer edges. That's what they do. Right. There is a fear reaper over there. I got him targeted. Nice. And he is down. Infernal Pact. The fisher folk thank you for saving me. They point to an You're welcome. In the distance to the west, 
near an abandoned cart. It's another Sahuagin shrine. Used to having more physical resistance through plate armor. Let's try this uh, optional here. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm in light. Although I do have 80 PR. And mine's sitting at a 57. Why didn't that... Uh, where are the enemies? Um, I think they don't spawn until after we oh. go break the next shrine. Ah, I just thought when you walk... That's right. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, I'm going to hang on the bridge till they start spawning. Yep, I don't blame you. Yeah, I tried hiding on that box and that didn't do me any good. The second shrine falls to pieces. Sahuagin forces rush to the attack. Ooh. Yep, it's proper champ chest. Too far. Those are always good. Well, the Maybar chest might give you a key, but mostly they just give you that booty chocolate, so. Yep. I mean, you don't need chocolate from the chest. I mean, you get so much chocolate just from running all the other side stuff. You're never short on chocolate. It's all the other ingredients you run out of. Yeah. Especially if you want the, uh, the new mount. Fear Reaper. He's down. Nice. Yeah, the new mount they added for Night Rebels is, uh, 240 of each material. Oof. Fear Reaper's coming. I'd say that's a good amount. I mean, it's almost five times using the jelly horse I got from the Big Daddy package. <laughs> I mean, the, the normal Reaper mount, or the normal, yeah, the Reaper Steed or whatever it's called from Night Rebels is only 50 of each material. But then the red one is 240. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's for people who want to mine the uh, Rebels for XP, but they need something to spend their point with all their. Like, yeah. Carnage. Splinter bolt for the win. Yeah, you put a splinter right through the carnage's head. It's better that way. Indeed. I'm betting now that once we finish this fight, the uh, rare over there is going to spawn. Ah, uh, yes. Aha. Scan the horizon. Sure enough, a third shrine can be seen to the northwest. Alright, uh, what quest are y'all in? And can I get an invite? Rest for the night. Uh, yes, if we put an axe, I can get you quicker. That Suwagin did not care for me shooting at Sea Lion. Yeah, he's trying to tear you up. Oh, train no. time. It's my Pokemon. Not the Pokemon. How dare you poke my Pokemon with sharp sticks? <laughs> That's the uh the campfire one, right? Yes. Yeah, it's the campfire one. Alright, and in relation to one of the other quests. Um, when you head up from town, you remember that little narrow stone bridge that you go over? Um, follow the road past the stone bridge, and you'll see a plume of smoke from a campfire. That's your target. Alrighty. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Hooray. This doesn't look like the way to Grandmother's house. 
think we're Dan's lost, Jan. Dan's little grandma was born in the bayou. Yeah, good point. I'm getting me fungus. Clearly the Sahuagin are building Yeah, the mobs won't spawn until we break that shrine, so we can, like, just chill till Kaz gets here. We're snagging another chest. Oh, this one doesn't appear. Oh, until after the fight. Okay. And break it. This is R4, mind you. Just careful. Uh, I'm targeting down the archer on. Yeah, somebody behind you. Water Ellie. Oh, the water Ellie spawn over here, huh? There's a yeah, chest here? Yeah, I think they're guarding here? that random chest. Yeah, there's a random rogue chest hidden oh. back in the reeds somewhere. Well, this would be it. Oh, you got a lot of doggies on you. Oh, I didn't even see them. <laughs> Apparently those things oh, are there I to guess. catch stragglers. Like yeah, in, right. um, like in Thranal, where you're supposed to lead Quail to that place. It's like if you just leave them there, a bunch of, uh, methods spawn and kill them. <laughs> uh. I mean, I did just kind of, like, cut straight across over towards you, so that, that could be why they were there. Yeah, that's believable. Ooh, watch that archer on. He smacked me good. Yeah, that's why I targeted Hi down the first one. He's dealt with. Thank you. Anything where their name starts with A, B, or C is big trouble physically. Get him! Okay. Fair Reaper. I don't even see him. He's Anybody by got the tree? Them. I saw him yeah, pop up by the see. tree. Enough for that one. Was that a curse, Jan? Um, it's the Bane spell. I was take I targeted down the cleric. Ah. And he hit me with the Bane spell. It'll go away in less than a minute. Reinforcements, perhaps. At the same time, you spot another shrine to the north. There's a soul off in the grass. Aha, thank you. Alright. Last shrine. Well, second to last, right? There's one at the end. Well, there's an extra optional chest if you want this one. Hmm. Alright. There are many optional chests in this quest, if you know where to look. Careful of all the elementals. Uh, I'm more worried about the infernal pact here than I am anything and else. And the plague? Yeah, well, the plague too. But the plague showed up after I started targeting down that guy. Ah. Nice. Delicious Guild Renown. So we were discussing Kaz um, after Salt Marsh. We think we're going to do the Three Barrel Cove saga for another saga at the end of this life. Sure. Don't see any cool. Sahuagin spring forth to make a desperate stand.
Fear Reaper over here. We know. How dearly we know. I forget, if I overcast Vigors, does that just add to the time or reset it? I think it resets Probably it, right? Probably resets it. I know, like, the greater... Oh, watch Stygian uh, Water Alley. I'm going to kind of try to conserve on SP. Yeah, everything here is trying to kill Jan the Goblin. Can you try to maintenance heal in between, Jan? Yeah, that's what I was doing before oh, they okay. all decided they wanted to kill Jan the Goblin. Carnage Reaper. He's feared. He died. He was untargetable. Oh, he got a... Oh, he got a Flameborn. I can't even target the darn guy. What the heck? There we go. I'm not even playing Warlock this time around, and they're all trying to kill me. Clearly, the leader of his incursion stands surrounded by pile on Jan. The pitiful Jan pile instead of doggy pile. Thanks, Jan. And then, if you wanna. Pew pew that carnage reaper from here. That'd be probably a good idea. Where is he? In the end fight. Straight ahead. Okay, here he comes. Alright. Nice. Dranimo! Of course it's a beast mark. Watch out, guys. Oh, he spun around on you. Nice. Those hands were handy. <laughs> Look what I got. Nice. Oh, uh, what'd you get? Uh, Mempot, Lesser. Good. Mempots are always good. Yes. Okay. Well, that was fun, but, uh... We'll move it down a few skulls in the next one. So what's the next closest? Crocodile, right? Yep, the crocodile. -y. Crocodile hunters. That's what we're going to be. Uh, who wants to do the puzzle? Um, I'm going to try and range stuff because there's a bunch of stuff I like to hang out in the corners. And I agree. You want to do the puzzle or you want me to, Kaz? I can do it. That's fine. Cool. I always do the puzzle. Let's give someone else a chance to do the puzzle. I was say I can kind of try to heal a little bit in between. Um, well, my heals have range, so. Yes. Ah, this way. To the west, to the west. Yeah, past the fancy house covered with vines. I like it. That looks just like my house. Oh, really? Uh, oh, no. Say, we my house has a few base. more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would love a house like that. That house looks awesome. Yeah, the one problem with the vines like that on a house. It's not good for the brick. Or was that wood? Yeah, <laughs> well, it's we not good for the wood either. My mom planted a bunch of ivy and stuff all over uh, the front yard, and uh, we had to take a bunch of it down because it was eaten into the stucco. Yeah. All right, let's do uh, R2. I think that's more manageable. Just watch the bees. Do you want to jump on this one, Jan? Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. You never know if you have to jump in. And this one has a lot of jumping. Judging from what you can see, the Sahuagin have set up some kind of ritual to control the giant. There you go. And they're using it to raise. Yes, yes, it does. 
some of these wine casks have teeth marks. Big one. Before we finish it, I could start fairy firing everything. There are like well, that. you can do that if you want, Planky. I'm gonna be hanging out over here, so. Best to avoid a swim. Mm, Intruders! On. This is the Sahuagin. They meddle with the pattern. He ran already. Them, my warriors. I will commune with thousand teeth. You can just stay there, Jan. Uh, that's the plan. Right. Like I said, I got the jump just in case I have to jump in, you know. Yes. That was a boom barrel I got rid of. The ones that boom the, the big boy. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all the bomb barrels. Oh, you had it, Cass. The second one up, if you turn it vertical instead of horizontal. And then turn the one above that. And then two and two. Two over, two down. You can turn oh, yeah, that. And these guys, um, they spawn based on how many pieces of the puzzle you solve. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, solving the puzzles spawns the guys. Thousand teeth rips out of the water. Thousand teeth retreats into the water, unaccustomed to food that we'll fight. see him again. I later. heard ding ding. Feast. Stay and fight. Rats, the Sahuaga mage, straining to control the crocodile. Fighting is mean if you can't use the ding, Planky. Stunning blow is very mm. good to have. Another wave of Sahuagin surged from the water. More Sahuagin. One's coming for you, Jan. That's okay, I gave him the old Django fit. <gasps> Yay! There's one breakable bonus. Um, actually, we're on two. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was, uh, Vandal. Yay, wow, that goes really far, huh? Fairy fire. Hmm, looks like we gotta do the perimeter if we wanna get back. Alright, guess. <laughs> Just remember to direct all your hatred towards Planky. Here, right over here, we can jump over. <laughs> we got ransacked, Jim. And charges again. The beast is fully committed to the battle. My shield wore off, and he threw a lot of magic missiles. Ah, oh, is that what it was? Well, he killed him pretty good. Nice, good job. Yeah, that's so much easier when I don't have to solve the puzzle. <laughs> well, I always nice. have to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I'm struggling. There we go. 
massive tracks. Uh, let's see. Next one would have to be the Bullywog, right? Yep, we just got two more. Is next. Yep. Bullywog hole in the inquest. Nice. I'm just gonna check for rares while we're right here. You come across a crude statue of a Nada. giant frog. It seems to be made of packed dirt. At least you hope it's dirt. Oh, I stuck my head in the Bullywog's hole. Bullywog said, "Bless my soul, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, remove it." Hmm. Interesting. And of course, I mean the Bullywog's den, not his, you know. We knew what you meant, I think. Is this one up? Hmm? 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 Yep, this one, the far one, the sea lion. You got ravens on your back. You've got records on your fingers and a platypus controlling you. Okay. That must be... I must be Gary. A large hole leads down the Nason Verb? Yes. Sounds and a stranger smell. You can tell someone world. watches Phineas and Ferb if they know Doofenshmirtz's first name. I've seen a lot of them. I don't think I've seen them all. Just one of the shows I just watched. It, it wasn't bad. Yeah, animation style is better than a lot of stuff that came out in that time. Yeah. Cannot stand Gumball or regular show. I like the regular show. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, it's the art style that gets me down, man. Ah, it's not like fair. the content or the writing or anything. It's just the art style. I'm very particular about my art styles with things. Fair enough. With forks leading north and south. And that's the main reason I didn't watch Ren and Stimpy as a kid is because oh I God, did not I care that. for the art style. Mm. I give you that. Which is ironic, considering most people didn't watch Ren and Stimpy because their parents wouldn't let me. No, my parents <laughs> raised me with no filter. It's just um, carnage. It's just the art style just did not. I did not like the art style. Y yeah. Nice cure. Nice curative admixture you had there. Yeah, I'll need to figure out a, um, a positive uh, spell power item at some point. Clear the Cyclops. <laughs> There's some croakers. Uh, here they come. We got split, Jan. We got split. Oh, we're coming okay, for Okay, working my way back to you, baby. Are you get you're done that way? Uh, no, there's some no. crawfish okay. following me. I just, I fought that guy and you said, oh, we got split. So it's like, oh, get my butt back over there. Come on, crawfish. Babies. Between the frogs and the crawfish, we're going to have one major pot of gumbo. Ah, there's more. There's a reason why crawfish are loosely related to cockroaches, man. Yeah. You're not moving your feet on my screencast. It's kind of kind of comical. Nice. 
He's got the slide. He's a professional at the electric slide. I remember there was a, uh, there was a period of time in World of Warcraft where, uh, when you would mount, uh, when you would, you know, you'd cast your mount and then get on it. And then if you, if you immediately started, like, flying with it before it started, before it actually appeared on your screen, it would stand there and it, it would just stay in its, uh, like, its idle standing animation. Oh, but you'd fly, like, on it? Yeah. But you'd, yeah. but it would still do exactly what it's supposed to do. It just looks like it's not doing anything. Yeah, I remember seeing uh, videos of that, actually. It's, like, one of the mostly things I remember. I re mostly I remember some video of, like, dude showing off his mount and, uh, getting mad because the guy who's shooting it drank his ale while he was flying the dragon or something. Yay. The wheel aligns to the correct symbol. One of the geysers spouting from the pillars slows. All right, first ladder is there. Oh, lag. A save? What? Oh, what? Did you see that gas? Oh, I saw it standing over there bubbling. Oh, I didn't, didn't see. There's the no right, bubbles uh, whatsoever. You didn't do the right wheel for uh, blue. I fixed it. Thank you. Oh, I thought I did. I didn't see any bubbles nah, there it's at all. Star Trek symbol. Hey, just in time, my jump wore off. Uh, red and uh, the flow of liquid. Yellow is red star. And then stops, revealing a large ladder. <laughs> Like, I knew I had the red and yellow ones right. I just forgot that the blue one was white and not just yellow. To mix the, you know, to essentially just mix the three colors. And Croker's getting ya. Well, it's a good thing there's a red shrine right there, so. Yes. <laughs> Broker needs to go back to keeping the journal. The door opens to reveal a long fully uh... open to the sky. Oh no, interrupted. Oh. Have at it, boys. Yeah, me think bad. you might have jumped the gun. I was almost done trying to. Let me see if I can hit it behind. Oh no, get out of here! And he's just aggro. The blowy <laughs> would rather be dipped in instant Thank gravy you. and thrown to a pack of crazed dogs than let you use the shrine. <laughs> oh no, but now I'm stuck. <laughs> Darn it. Well, there's something I can do to help you on that one. I'll be a minute. I'm teleporting. <laughs> You need a heal, jump back here. Let me heal you. <laughs> uh, that would interrupt things, Plinky. Yeah, I know. I am over halfway. Okay, we got him, including Pele. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Watch your back! Stop jumping around. Right, at least I got one of them. <laughs> All right. Named loot. Up here. I think there was something in this quest I was looking for before. Uh, you were looking for just about anything out of these quests, chain, remember? Yeah, but there's something specific name piece that, like, prior life I was looking for. Well, Kaz got the orb, so. What is the orb? Anything good? 
Plus it's two orb, orb. Moment, uh, stability, hmm. um, plus two spell pen, mythic two. You taking that? Oh, yeah. It's mythic two, and I don't know if I, I don't even oh, know if oh, I have one of those. You did say that. You take the mythic two, I'm going to go take a vigorous shower after the bullywug hole. Nonsense. Breathe deep. Lick your arm. Build immunity to the crap of them. <laughs> That's disgusting, actually. They're basically Never mind, don't water do that. goblins. The Sahuagin have captured a seaside fortress from the Wizard Folk. They're using it as their base. Name the skull flanky. No, uh, I think two's good. Okay, and on two. Fight. Is that an earthquake or yeah, might as well. Some form of sorcery. I to find the high priestess too. See you soon. Ah, thank you for the good hope. Mm -hmm. That puts a bright spine on uh, that puts a bright shine on things. A bonus just for doing that one trap. Nice. Oh, remnant. Quick and dirty, right? You guys want to do optionals and stuff? It's all good to me either way. All right. Well, since I'm the one imposing the time limit, I'm gonna say quick and dirty. Fair enough. You want to do this one dumpster fire guy, the the uh, Odiog? Oh yeah, I forgot he's here. Yeah. And smells like it's the place trash garbage into the garbage shoot flyboy Of hammers and the scrape of shovels nearby. Well, for you, Planky, <laughs> back there. <laughs> Thank you. I was distracting that. I think it was a mark of chaos. It was a mark of chaos. Throwing a few dots and then hiding. Letting you guys do the rest. Yeah, I was doing the same sort of thing. Get a few shots when you see it turn towards you, jump behind a wall. Yep. Captive lizard folk work on one side <sighs> of this chamber, forced to renovate what was once their own fortress. Sahuagin soldiers fought. Run them through the web. Oh no. Lizard folk slaves seize their chance and turn on their Sahuagin masters. There they go. Doesn't help when they start throwing sonic blast out. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, I want to split. You two go one way, I go another. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm doing the small fight. Um, simple thing, you were doing the big puzzle one. Alright, you guys did the 7 10 split. <sighs> there we go. There's a certain feeling of pride and accomplishment. Not an EA sense of pride and accomplishment. When you solo kill a famine reaper. <laughs> you got the puzzle, Kaz? Yeah. Right. I'm coming, Jan. Well, room one's down. Nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's not even showing that it's resetting the time. Oh, it added to it. That was weird. I put the vigor on you, and at eight seconds I casted it again. Six seconds I casted it again, but when that first one wore off, there's 20 seconds on you. Well, it definitely wore off, but then I'm fully healed, so. Oop, lag, lag. The ground trembles, and the water rises once again. The Sahuagin must be using magic to sink the entire fortress. Perfect timing. The potion's still messed up in this little bit of water. Um, well, I just healed myself Maybe. with it. Oh, it did. Okay. Die, watch your dogs. Reaper. <gasps> well, we just got some fear inoculum, so Kind of starting to like this more and more with the acid, because like I can cycle guys that you guys aren't targeting and put two dots on them, and then go to the next guy. Yeah, I'm still thinking about making that Earth Savant Sorcerer the Cook and Book build for dealing with like um, Vengeance Reapers. Throw three dots on the Reaper, then run, let him chase you far away from everything else when he dies. Nothing gets the Vengeance buff. Yeah. Good plan. Okay, I'm Your next target is the high priestess. I seen <laughs> the potion quickly hurling at the back of my head. I thought it was an enemy throwing a spear. <laughs> I got scared. It's usually a uh, good reaction to have. But but oddly, the, the uh, potion felt good and healed me. <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't you take damage before you get healing because the bottle hits you in the head? You, you would think so. Yeah, I'll meet up with you. 
do we want to do the traps in the side optional? Um, I think so you, you have to bonus, actually ask right? for treasures for that, don't you? No, you can search. Uh, I, I think asking for the treasure, he disables them, so you don't get the bonus. Um, I don't see it's any back here. Ways. Yeah, I don't see anything, Planky. You want to try searching here? And I've got search, so let's see. Um, oh, doing maybe one more. You're right. Heal boost. Oh. I would say true sight 35 true sight's not finding mm. it. So. Okay. For some reason I thought he disabled the traps. Well, with skill boost, my switch is a 44, so. Oh yeah, that's plenty, you'd think. Yeah, now you just suck. <laughs> I think that you have to ask him for treasure for that. Okay. Well, good to know. You die. <laughs> Eventually. All right, we're ready. Yeah, it takes, takes at least two seconds. The high priestess has just arrived at the fortress's main entrance. Web him. Primary target at last. Does Web work underwater? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I legit. Yeah, do yeah, it does. Huh? It held this one right here. Alright, good luck. Oh, the crawfish aren't out, aren't out to kill us, are they? Not this time. Take the codex page. Nice. This evil artifact will be safer than Alright, I am capped. Denied the power of the codex page. The uh, same. Able to okay, the so level... You got time for Ironstone? Yeah, I got time for Ironstone. Okay. The Sahuagan have captured the seaside fortress from the resort. Yeah, it's going to be 100 the out here today, Kazzy. Yeah. For their invasion of yeah, that's rough. And Kazzy's yeah, like, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in Florida anymore. You want to make 100 degrees worse? Someone Solid nagging at you about humidity. how hot it is? Yes, all of the above. <laughs> I was going to say high humidity. Is it humid in California for the most part? Um, No, it's very, very dry. Very dry. Oh, so what are you complaining about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I have a Jeff Dunham joke about that. <laughs> okay. Is, is Bro, it you clean? A bonfire is a dry heat. You don't see me sticking myself in that thing. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, but that's a little too hot. <laughs> well, my mom, that's... she's from North Carolina originally, and she talks about how it's like, I'd rather have it be 100 here than like 90 in North Carolina. It's like, that doesn't make this hurt any less. Or 90 in New York? I don't know, is New York very humid? A summer months, it seems. Yeah, it's usually pretty high. Oh, kind of like Japan, huh? Well, you got the Great Lakes that surround a good portion of it, and then uh, you also have all the Finger Lakes as well in between the middle of it. I'm wrapped up by the Finger Lakes within, you know, I'm within two hour, or hour and a half from Buffalo, hour from Buffalo from certain parts. Which is right by the two Great Lakes. So yeah, it. I don't know. I I feel like more often than not, it's pretty high in the humidity in the summer months for sure. All right, I am a druid. You gotta figure out what to take. Do I want to take insightful reflexes or do I want to take toughness? 
Hmm. Sightful reflexes. Yeah, Throws casters that shoot at you afar because you're trying to shoot them. If you dare. I took all my ranged feats, so. Nice. Well, I think I'm going to take the advantage of Quicken. Oh, yeah. Many, many skill points to spend. Oh yeah, that that is a good thing. All right, let's see, let's see. And a couple spells. Yeah, if I took better heals. Ooh, Death Eater. Temporary hit point. Yep. Nice. It's all good stuff. I like how it's whenever you kill an enemy, kind of. I mean... If I was playing with Hemi and Ross too, that would kind of suck. But in the smaller <laughs> group, it works pretty well. Well, I'm hoping it works well. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Bigger heals, and I got elemental weapons. So I don't know if that'll do you, either of you any good, since you're both casters, but... It does uh, plus imbue dice now, and I do not do imbue dice. What's How about that? you, Plunky? Elemental weapons. Uh, I do imbue dice, yes. Yeah, I do acid. You know what? I'm gonna try this. Excuse me. I'm gonna try this thorn bloom. I want to. I know what acid rain looks like, and it is pretty cool. But I want to try thorn bloom. I'm excited for it. I also got the poison spell. See how that does. Yeah, if I remember correctly, get an enhancement so your poison spell also does poison damage, not just give them the poison effect. So poison's actually a good damaging spell for you. It's like an AoE thing. Yeah. It's kind of like how uh, the Dark Apostate gets um, like their Bless and Bane spells do damage. I got lesser resto too, if anybody needs. Yeah, I got cure serious pots now as well. Oh, nice. Most of my spells are going into like healing first. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll take the uh, remove disease and stuff because we can always just carry potions for those. Yeah. Well, if we're going to do Iron Stone, don't forget to empty out your pockets. Right about to do that. Thank you.
All my business in Salt Marsh is taken care of. Just selling, repairing, and then uh, I'll be ready. I like how this airship has a ring of water around it. That looks cool. Which one's that? Um, it's over near the guy with pass. It's the guy who takes you on the passage to Sharn. His ship has a big ring of water around it. Oh right, yes. I was just looking at it as I'm going through the harbor. It's like, wow, that looks cool. All right, on my way. I have a new damage button. Yeah. Oh, you got the other Cyclops blast? I got stricken. It does 12d6 chaos damage and reduces the heal amp by 120 for 12 seconds. Ooh, that's nice. Scales with 125% spell power. Oh, yes, you, oh yeah, that's right. You're going the great old one tree. All right, you guys ready? Well, no, that's in... Uh, not acolyte of the skin that's in oh that's cool soul leader yeah soul leader is basically the enhancement tree based off of a uh, great oh. old one. Oh yeah yeah i'm just going sorry over there i should have been more concise right now i'm just going over there for the uh for the cone shape that i'm gonna go dive back into well you also get like absorb life force or whatever it is and you actually do damage and heal yourself they give you a spell that does that oh my yeah. Oh my, look at those temporary hit points. Temp HP is pretty good. Die. Yeah, that's one of the things to get out of Tainted Scholar's Fiend Health. It makes even sucky wands like the Eternal Wand of like Cure Minor Wounds, it well makes even that wand a winner. Because like you get 50 temporary wand. hit points every time you use it. If you've got, or you get your pretty... Charisma and temporary hit points every time you use it. Pretty good. And it stays until you lose them or die. Um, die it lasts everybody. for like three, four minutes, but it's like, um, especially going at the rate we go, by the time that time's up, you will have used them. Oh, used I them almost used them all. I got a, two dots. Oh, I'll live. Yeah, those are some better numbers. <laughs> and die. Uh... Yay, I got them all back. Uh oh. I lost them again. I really like the thorn spells, they're pretty cool. And since they do pierce damage, um, not a lot of stuff resists it. Yeah. Except for skeletons and zombies. Well, put it this way, last um, there are things that resist it that are fairly common, but nothing is immune to it, so and certainly nothing's healed by it. That poison's actually pretty sick too. Oh well, yeah, like I said, it's a it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, that AoE damage is nice. Nice added effect to it, for sure. And all the negative um, stuff you had from Dark Acolyte, or Dark Apostate, can basically apply here because you can use it for your poison spells. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't know how much of a difference there'd be between a Dark Apostate gear set and uh, Plague... Uh, Plague Bearer uh, gear set. Yeah, I mean, pretty darn close if I uh, would have just stayed the same uh, build. I mean, they both. Or same uh, gear. Darn it. 
Went the Pierce. <laughs> both run on wisdom, both run on negative, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm coming. Uh, anybody get barrels? Three. Yeah, I've been okay. grabbing them. Cool. We got th um, three left. Con damage is really nice in heroics, too. Yeah. Because they don't just heal it absolutely immediately. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that, that failed. Take a thorn in the eye and the thigh, <laughs> and you're going to die. You have found six powder kegs. Whack his but now whack his thigh, stick that thorn up his brown eye. What? Ouch. <laughs> They're the bad guys. You feel bad about doing that? Uh, the, the, yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't you? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go do this little shaman fight. Yeah, he's actually mandatory. I'm gonna kill them all. Your soul targeted, targeting Fear Reaper. <laughs> oh, ah! Die, die. Oh, they really took care of that market chaos, too. Oh, yeah. I just saw the poison just take the warg. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's a nice targetable AOE insta cast on them, so it's actually really nice, the poison spell. Yeah, it's like that because normally it doesn't do damage. Yeah. Yeah, instead of like the blast spells where you gotta cast and wait for them to launch and hit, it's just instant. I like it. You have saved eight crewmates from the banshee. Locked? There must be an enemy that ran after you guys. We'll find him. Um, last time oh, I oh. checked, we took no that prisoners. It. Was he feared or something? He might have been. Been discovered at the end of the I say, I thought we took no prisoners. Be stranded without it. Oops. Were we supposed to leave the heads? Because I took no prisoners. <laughs> Did it open or you guys didn't check? It's open. Okay. Yar, yar. Oh, there's a night. Reveal chest over here. Yep, I got a bunch of booty chocolate. Okay, the ship's on fire. Don't go over there. Stay away from there. Following voice not far away. I have died with that ship going boom before. It's very hard to your stone because where it lands. Yeah, over over near where the ship is. There, over here, Jan. There's the there's another night rebel box. I got more of that booty chocolate. And die. Don't forget he spawned another chest. Yes. Effectively calling his own blood. Guild were known for me. 
Yeah. Because the Valor gives me over 400 guild renown. I like that. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. nice. 90k till I've reached 7 million guild renown for the guild. You'll get there, I believe in you. Oh, I just hit Oh uh, yeah, cashing in all mil. the sagas, I'll do that. Oh man, oh, yeah. check out Stain Tusk. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. I like the Shadow and Maybar thing. Yay! That did not pay half nice. bad. Um, you got time for another one, Jan, or are you going to call it now? Um, yeah, I got time for one more. All Which right, one do I'll you want to do? Pick. I forget what else is in that saga. Everything else is over in Three Barrel. Three Barrel Cove and Sentinel. Sentinel stuff is level 7. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we can start with Feywild or whatever. It's just, I figure we might want to knock this one out before we take 7. Oh, well, Feywild is level 5 in level, yeah. so we could actually take level again, right? Yeah, if you want to. Want to see I mean, what else new and exciting stuff comes out? Mm, well, because if we're going to do the sagas, we're already... Um, we got Feywild 2 and all of Three Barrel Cove. I have a feeling we're going to cap again. Well, I mean, what new and exciting you get from... Uh, oh, leveling? Yeah, from the build. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're leveling. Find him. Yes. All right. Yeah, you don't need uh, bank favor, right, Kaz, anymore? For it, uh, TR? No. Okay. I might need it, but I'll probably take care of that on my own in my own time. I mean, if I need it, I can just go get it. That's fine. Well, the walk-up's right. over in House Care, level 5 as well, so... Ooh, regular vigor. Alright, y'all will be happy to know off the coast of Stormreach, the that I have Dimension Pile of Dread. Oh, nice. The wolf, the gate that makes certain Stormreach quests Harbor much easier. To learn more about this land of dinosaurs and danger. <laughs> yes. Your spells, Planky. Yeah, that's where I'm running now. I was gonna run to the ship, I guess. Should have ran to that tavern right there. I'm going to the tavern. Hmm. I need to go to the ship anyway. I got me some Audi cheese. Oh? I got flame turret. Ah. Ah, yes. Artificial cheese, because you can use it through doors and stuff. Yes. <laughs> uh, if we need to breathe underwater, I got the important spell. Wait, no, this is swim underwater. Yes, swim checks. We can swim faster. <laughs> oh, no. You going to make it? Yeah, right. You would not believe how hard it is to find already spell components down in the market. Can't you sort them alphabetically? No, I mean nobody sells them. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's uh, unfortunate. It's the same thing for Alchemist as well. I got freedom if anybody needs or wants it. Yeah, 
I'm happy with freedom of movement. I don't have a construct essence yet, so. Well, it's going to get acid rain, but I got a lot of spells right now. So I want to kind of enjoy the, the new ones I just got. Well, all the loot and stuff that I didn't keep from Ironstone got me 4,000 platinum. That's pretty Yay. good. So do you want to start with Three Barrel Co. first, or do you want to start with Feywild first, Plinky? Um, well, Three Barrel Cove is what level to what level? That's stretch over a couple, right? Yeah, it's um, the stuff in Three Barrel Cove proper is 5 and 6. Feywild is 5 and 6. Let's start Three How's Barrel Cove. Okay. Cheese, cheese, crackers, and toast. It's been a long time since I've done it. You want to start with Tuto Tobias? Sure. Okay, that's the closest one. That's a bit of a long one. Well, you're in good hands, Planky. I happen to be the guild's resident expert on Three Barrel Cove. Yeah. At least heroic. All right, what ship in the harbor gets you there now? Um, the Port Authority. They're not too far from the lighthouse. Walkway. Okay, that's where I was kind of heading. Ah. I'm stuck. There we go. Aha, yes. All right, I'm sold. Three barrel COVID is. Uh, yeah, you right, might be cool. right about capping because Three Barrel Cove gives lots of XP. Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Alright, I'm heading to you, Jan. Feywild's XP is not poor, but their value that value is mostly in the loot, as I recall. Feywild gear is really good. But you look so tiny right now. I'm a gnome. My true goblin nature is showing. Well, because you're tiny and your horse is tiny, so. <laughs> yeah, they give they give um, the pony. And hobbits his uh, little ponies. <laughs> That's awesome. I see yeah, the fly just... swarm is riding the lizard folk horse. <laughs> We do a lot of swimming in this first one, don't we? Oh, yeah. Geronimo! Oh, I missed the water pool. <laughs> I broke my legs. My horse is swimming underwater with me. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. To be a resting place uh, R2. To told Tobias, an ancient uh, yes. three barrel legend. Alright, can I cast swim here? Oh, I'll cast it outside. Yeah, I'm going just up through the little yeah. rock hole and we can buff here. Anybody want That's fun? nice, I don't have to pick an element anymore. It would be appreciated. Yeah. It won't hurt anything. Alright. And it doesn't really matter now, but I have slightly better resist elements now, too. Or resist energy. <gasps> okay. Yep. Now, instead of blocking 10, it blocks 20. I want my hit points. Get back here, bat. An opening in the you too. Okay, I'll hit the lever while you guys kill the bats. Alright, that's all it is. Just a lever over there, right? Oh, yeah. I forget. And you can even start down the tunnel now for the next swim section. Okay. Because I got the lever here. Rats! Ah, ah rats. Well, that just got me over 1,500 XP. 
And there's traps at the next oh, lever, like before, against... right? Um, yeah, it's this little fall trap that half the time doesn't damage you. Okay. Don't try That's... to force your way through the current. The current will the sonic traps will kill you. And so there's still a box up top here, right? Um, that's what we're gonna find out. Yes, there, there is. is. Oh, I auto searched it. Nice. Go, Jim. Oh, I should have did another swim thingy. Mole fork. Murful. I did a skill boost and I just suddenly started zooming through the water. My swim must be like right on the verge of two levels of uh, swim speed because I did the uh, skill boost for like plus six. And all of a sudden I'm just like zooming through like a torpedo. <laughs> like my halfling rogue who's like, he swims faster than he runs. Wait, did that burst those breakables too? Or was that um, you guys? Yeah. Wasn't me. Oh, uh, what? Plinky found a new favorite spell. <clears throat> Couple of them, actually. So, will this be a new favorite build, do you think? It's, I know it's early uh, to tell. Heroic wise, it's pretty kick butt right now. I'm. Getting all excited. <laughs> and pop goes the weasel. Yeah, you do that, Punky. Pop their weasels. Their weasels need a good popping. Because these guys are a bunch of jabronis. Yes. Look, I destroyed two of my conjured bolts. Rude. Cervantes, two toed Tobias's first mate, has been returned <laughs> to the depths. All right, I guess I'm going to try and loot. <laughs> Oh, you grow horns when you, uh, do the I-beam. Yes. Wait, who? Kaz has horns? Yeah, when he does the I-beam effect. Because he gets this ability ah. where he does, like, a cone-shaped blast from his eyes where it does, like, fear and everything. I didn't realize because I've never, like, emerges I've only done that where I'm playing it. The um, horns, like, pop out of your head when you're doing that. You see? Hmm. I like it. Um, you don't want to loot this chest, it's just a regular longbow. Okay. A frigid cold cuts through your body as you see a frozen river below. Got the valve, and we go under the ship to get to the next section. Oh, or if you guys want right. to wait up there, I can just go down and get the levers. I don't know. Running, There's actually running, more running. lights down here. I'm coming. A ship's mast rises up from a chasm in the cave floor. Did I go the... Yes, I went the right way. Yep, it's underneath the ship. Watch Hiya. out, there's gonna be some fire jets. The source of the cold air is coming from this room. The fire jets melt the ice, allowing you to continue your search for two toads of bias. There was a 
valve or lever on the other side of the ship too, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm the guild's resident expert on Heroic Three Barrel Cove, so... Oh, yeah. I really should be letting other people do stuff in the quest. That's yeah, alright. I know I've done it quite a few times, it's just I always get the Heroic and Epic version mixed up. The second valve. Epic Legendary version is just straight up evil. Which opens the door to the rest <laughs> of the you, Um, no, even like back in the day, like yeah. the big hitters in our <laughs> guild were screaming and cursing about the Yuan T. That quest is just, um, Epic Garls is just straight up evil. That person because logged they, on six hours ago. <laughs> well, it wasn't just Tor, it was all kinds of yeah, people. Were like, yeah, you're right. Everybody hated that quest. Because it completely broke your builds. Because that was back in the day when Reflex was the only save you cared about. Buffs took care of everything else. And they got um, they gave the Yuan to just about every spell that you could that got around that. So, like, they're doing sound bursts. They're doing stuff like um, uh, Divine Punishment. You know, they're doing stuff that uh, your buffs didn't protect you from and Reflex save didn't help you with. All right. I hated the blades. That was so difficult. But yeah, that quest was like straight up evil back in the day. I don't know how it ranks now. It's still old content, but... Levers appear on opposite sides of the room, adorned with bullseyes. As the lever flips back, the floor rolls. Epic Prove Your Worth is really evil, too, having to jump through all those spikes yeah. from the blast hole. Agreed. I got to me silver. The door before you opens, as if you were expected. Oh yeah, I could pick open this chest this time around. The supposed Treasure. urban Yay. legend speaks to you. Treasure. Treasure. It's about time. There, it's unlocked for after we fight this guy. I have long waited for this moment. I... The legend of two toed to buy. Goodbye. Guys, like I healing. Said, it pays it good. That anyone uh, I bet you guys both got 20k for that. 21. Heck yeah. Oh, I got a diamond event plus one. That can go with the 50 other I got from the cobalt in the marketplace or in the harbor. <laughs> Huzzah. I mean, come on. This is a minimum level five stuff. You could at least give it like the plus two. Yeah. The Weeping Cove is rumored to be a resting place. Yeah, I better call it there. It's starting to get warm in here. An ancient okay. Barrel legend. Keep cool today. Yeah. Make sure you hang yep. your popsicles from your floor fans to cool down. <laughs> well, we have like a window unit air conditioner, so we're basically going to do like the Japanese. Close up the house, live in the living room where the air conditioner actually is. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's quite smart. Just like this fight's, this battle's gonna be. Ah, you can't touch me. Kaboom! <laughs> Man, I like that spell. That's nice. Yeah, they've got a nice skill set, and because, uh, well, that's one of the things that really excited me about doing alchemist with the uh, plinker alchemist was you got poison spells. Problem is they didn't have anything that stripped immunity really good. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got one. Well, you got um, like poison wave, which hit in very near range, where you got a single target shot that did it. It's like you don't have like a good mass AOE that does it. Ooh, the gust of wind staff. That's right. In these items, there's a chance to get them in the reward list, right? Oh yeah. They don't always appear. Nope. If you run the th everything three times, they will. And then you can get just, like, everything in one go. But ah. I don't know. This gear just, like, totally pales compared to uh, Feywild gear. No, oh, yeah. yeah. 
Though to be fair, you can get this pretty easily versus having to buy the expansion for very well. But you know. Indeed. I'll go around and pick up all these other quests that we need to pick up. All right. I will see you Tuesday, gentlemen. The all heat's right. supposed to break Sunday or Monday, so I'll be available right, Tuesday, no problem. Yeah, definitely stay cool. And we'll see you Tuesday. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done these. Alright. And that is all of them picked up. Yes. Ooh. An unkindness of ravens. I want to try that. doing it sounds like fun oh what holy crap did you see that on your screen no what, what? <laughs> the ravens <laughs> it like took up my whole entire screen uh, whipped all around me, went under this bridge, came up out over here. <laughs> this like big whooshing thingy. I got it two minute cooldown. Oh jeez. Um, let's see. Two minutes goes to a minute thirty, and if you spend three points, goes to a minute. Good times. Yes. And it costs no spell points. Mm -hmm. 41 reflux save they need. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. DC 20, druid level, and conjuration DC. Nice. Mm hmm. If you want to wait 42 seconds, I'll see if I can do it again. Yeah, that sounds good. See if you can see it. I bet you you can. See, I really like that uh, Thorn Bloom. It deals some massive damage, too. So I think I'm going to spend uh, more points in that to take the cool down from 16 seconds down to 8. Yeah, that's usually a good idea. And it only costs six spell points instead of ten. <laughs> God, that's kick butt. Grasping thorns, top tier. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh, is the area I face? Oh, you see yeah. it go through the hill? Yeah. Or was Holy pretty wild. Bro. <laughs> Get it? Indeed. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that. Confuses and blinds. Uh, separately. So I need to make two different saves. Yep. Or save twice. One for each. Sounds about right. Uh, enemies in the way take 1d3 pierce damage per druid level and must save versus confusion and blind separately. Yep. That's cool. Uh, 
Oh. I didn't realize uh, they tied in the Entangle spell with uh, Grasping Thorns, top tier. Sounds good. Uh, Yeah. On successful save, the target has their movement slowed by 35%. Targets also take 1d4 pierce damage every 2 seconds per caster level. This double is doubled on targets which are entangled. Hmm. Whatever that means. This double is doubled? What double? Probably this damage is doubled. Yeah, I'm thinking. Sort of throw it on a tangle than that. Mm, so I might pick up and tangle. And if I spend two points to get the enhancement, my entangle will also deal negative damage. Oh. More damage is more good. Man. I, I'm liking Druid even more now. All right, I got to try the uh, crows out on enemies. Mm -hmm. It's probably just going to kill them out right in the Slayer area. Makes sense. But one way to find out. Red alert it. <laughs> Hi, enemies. Come on, everybody. Oh man, how am I not alerted? <laughs> there we go, there's the alert. And orange, yellow, red, there we go. Ooh, ooh, perfect to try it out. Oh, I mean it only deal, dealt 30 damage on a red alert. <laughs> hmm, cool. Oh yeah, the poison caps at five enemies. Makes sense, I guess. Can't have it too good, right? Right. Die. Huh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I think that's it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's it for me. Alrighty. We'll see you next Tuesday and not in the, the bad sense, in the good sense. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks everybody for watching and uh, have a good one. We'll see ya.